New congressional and legislative maps will soon start to take shape in Ohio. The Ohio Redistricting Commission convenes for the first time this Friday ahead of August 16th, when the U.S. Census Bureau is set to release key demographic data used for redistricting. Janice Brock is with the Ohio Organizing Collaborative, which is a member of the Equal Districts Coalition. She says they're urging the commission to hold public hearings around the state to ensure transparency. We aim to lift up the voices of Black, Brown, and immigrant Ohioans who have long been left out the conversation, unheard, underrepresented during the official redistricting process. We want to make sure people's voices are heard. The commission will draw Ohio's House and Senate maps. State lawmakers are tasked with drawing the congressional map. Advocates have called on Governor Mike DeWine to convene the commission for several months and launch the Ohio Citizens Redistricting Commission to gather public input on the map drawing process. The Equal Districts Coalition is wrapping up a 10-city Fair Maps town hall tour this week, where the topic is how gerrymandering has impacted communities. Brock says to ensure people could participate during the pandemic, the events have been held online. Also, some people really don't have the means to travel down to Columbus to share their story. So we thought we would bring this to the people, make sure that we make this process accessible and transparent. Brock contends all Ohioans deserve a chance to weigh in on how their voting districts should be drawn. When we let Ohioans draw the map, we can choose what hospitals, schools, and the resources funded in our neighborhoods. These maps will shape our lives, laws, and policies for at least the next decade. Ohio will lose a congressional district, dropping from 16 to 15 as the result of new census data. Support for this reporting was provided by the Carnegie Corporation of New York. I'm Mary Sherman reporting. Find our eight trust indicators to support accuracy and transparency online at publicnewsservice.org.